So here you can see that I got an image and now what I want to do is I want to use the stroke and fill tool uh, so that I can add a stroke to this and then fill it out with a color to give it a bit of a look that I want to. So to do that, I'm going to go around into edit and over here you can see that there's stroke and fill. So if I were to go to stroke and increase this, nothing happens at the moment. That is because uh, this layer is covering up the entire um, um, canvas area right here. So I'm going to go around and then double click on this. And then what I can do is I can resize this out, put it anywhere I want. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around into edit. And then if I were to go around into stroke, then this is what you have. So you can increase and decrease the size of the stroke according to what you like and then work around with its opacity and apply it out. And this is how it looks. You can see that there's the stroke right here. I'm going to go around into stroke right there. And there you go. You can see that the stroke is only applied onto the top because uh, this image was here when we actually work with. So let me just go around into uh, this part right here, resize it, keep it in the center. And then I'm going to go around into stroke. And there you go. I can increase the size, decrease the size just like this. I can decrease the opacity, increase the opacity according to what you like. Uh, if you don't want, let's say, for example, uh, the image in between, you can also do outline only and then it'll just display the stroke. But in my case, I want the picture. You can also go around and then choose the color that you want to work with. So let's say, for example, if, I, if you want to go to green and so forth, you can see that you can apply that out as well. And that is the stroke. And the other option you have is the fill. So if you were to go to fill, you can see that the entire picture gets covered up. You can work around with the opacity so that it only goes around right here and fills out a certain portion. You can go around, work around with the blending modes to have different effect applied with the color that you chose as well. You can go around with green, you can go, go around with blue and so forth. You can increase and decrease the color. You can go around with lighten, you can go around with hard light and so forth. And you can see that you can apply the blending mode according to what you like. You can also preserve the transparency right here, just like this. And there you go. If you were to dis, uh, like disable the transparency, all of the area gets filled up, as you can see. So I can simply apply and this is the effect that is applied. And that is how you can work around with stroke and fill option inside of Pixlr E. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.